Hello again, I'm Rodney Reynolds and welcome to another video review. Today I'm looking at the Zelman ZADM1000 HP Quiet 1000 Watt Power Supply. What's included is the user's manual, Velcro tie downs, a dual fan adapter, modular leads, power cord, screws for mounting the power supply in the case, and the power supply. The Zalman ZAD M line of power supplies are currently available in wattages ranging from 360 to 1000. I'll be reviewing the 1000 watt model which is more than enough power even for hardcore computer systems. Now how is this wattage determined? To understand that you need to know what rails are. Rails are basically well-regulated transformers which convert domestic current into the voltages that your computer system can use and there are essentially two different rails, the 3.3 slash 5 volt rail and the 12 volt rail. In this particular case the approximate maximum peak output of the 3.3 slash 5 volt rail is 250 watts and the 12 volt rail is 960 watts which is essentially how the wattage of this power supply is determined. The 3.3 slash 5 volt rail is responsible for the motherboard, memory, PCI cards and so on while the 12 volt rail is responsible for the hard drives, optical drives, fans, CPU, video cards, etc. Also some might be interested to know the peak amps on each rail. Well the plus 3.3 volt and the plus 12 volt rails are both 40 amps each. There are also 6 plus 12 volt rails, 1, 2, 5 and 6 are 18 amps each, 3 and 4 are 28 amps each with a combined power of 80 amps. There are a couple of important things to remember when selecting a power supply. The first is wattage. Determine how much wattage you are going to require by the amount of hardware you will be installing. Generally speaking a medium to high end gaming rig would require a 500 to 700 watt power supply. For a hardcore system select a power supply that's around 800 watts. If however you are building an extreme gaming rig with a top of the line multiple video card setup with lots of other hardware get a power supply that's 1000 watts or greater. Second it should be at or above 80% efficient at typical load. The efficiency of this power supply is rated above 86% at full and typical load. Third, it should meet the latest ATX and other current standards, environmental directives, over voltage, under voltage and other protections. This power supply meets all current standards. Fourth, I'd recommend choosing a power supply that has a PFC. A PFC or active power factor correction is something that also assists the power supply in being more efficient and therefore stable under load. APFC basically reduces total harmonics, corrects input voltage and it allows for full input voltage range. Thankfully this power supply has APFC. Fifth, there are three main certifications, 80 plus, NVIDIA SLI and ATI Crossfire. Many of today's high end power supplies meet one or more of these certifications. This power supply meets the 80 plus and the NVIDIA SLI certifications. Sixth, look for a power supply that uses Japanese capacitors. This ensures a much more reliable product than a power supply with low grade capacitors. This power supply uses Japanese capacitors. Finally, get a power supply that has enough leads for your setup. Also consider a power supply that has a modular design because it reduces the cable mess inside the case. Let's have a closer look at this power supply. Since this is a 1000 watt power supply, it's fairly long, so it might not fit in some mid tower and most likely will not fit in any home theater PC or small form factor cases. It has a gloss paint finish and a steel housing. They include a temperature controlled quiet recessed 140 millimeter fan so the hotter the inside of the power supply gets the faster the fan spins. This fan and the honeycomb ventilation ensures maximum cooling so the power supply should remain cool in almost any environment. Here's the power cable connection but notice that there's no power switch. There's a status LED which is red when the power supply is in standby mode and green when the power supply is turned on. This power supply has lots of leads but the motherboard leads, optical disk drive, hard drive as well as the PCI Express leads are hardwired into the power supply and can't be removed but all of these leads are sleeved. While this power supply doesn't have all modular leads, most of the required ones are already attached. 
Modular leads are fantastic because you only need to use the ones for your particular setup, which reduces the cable mass inside the case. This not only looks great, but it also increases airflow inside the case. This power supply has a very unique standby noise filter switch, which eliminates high frequency noise in standby mode. If you've ever put your ear close to a power supply when in standby mode or when underpowered, a high pitched noise can be heard. And in some cases it's fairly loud and can be very annoying. Thankfully, this power supply deals with this noise when the switch is turned on. Please be aware though that when the standby noise filter switch is enabled, the power supply will consume more watts when in standby mode. Note that this standby noise filter switch is not a power switch and the AC power cord must be unplugged in order to turn the power supply off. Every power supply has heat sinks in order to keep it cool, but this power supply not only has heat sinks, it also has heat pipes. This combination of heat sinks and heat pipes makes this one of the quietest high wattage power supplies on the market. Finally, have a listen to the 140 millimeter fan. If you are in the market for a high wattage power supply but you still want it to be very quiet, then I'd recommend you check this product out. It's virtually silent when it's inside of the case and that's thanks to the many ventilation holes, 140 millimeter fan along with the heat pipes and heat sinks that's inside the power supply. And this power supply even comes with a noise filter switch. Now it doesn't come with a power switch and that might be a concern for some people. But other than that, this is a 100% kick-ass product. Until next time, take care.